Boston is turning traffic lanes into bus lanes. It's one way they're hoping to keep people moving when the orange line shuts down. But then the commuting dominoes will begin to fall. Taking away lanes will back up traffic, and that's just one ripple effect that we're going to see from the shutdown. State leaders are trying to make it perfectly clear this project will affect everyone, even if you never step foot on the MBTA. Starting this Friday night, the T will squeeze five years of repairs into just 30 days. New at 6, WBZ's Christina Hager shows us some of the ways the T is trying to spread the warning. When the orange line screeches to a month-long halt starting Friday night, along with parts of the green line, Massachusetts Highway Administrator has this message for anyone who plans to hit the road instead. I assure you that that is not a good option, and you should look to other transit options such as the commuter rail. Hoping to minimize the impact, T officials admit will be, in their word, severe, the state has guides ready to help lost commuters. Getting around, it really stinks. The threat of a rush hour headache reaches well beyond these rails. All roadway users, whether you drive, bike, or walk, you will see changes in your everyday commute. Especially along this route, where shuttles plan to offer alternative rides. Over the weekend, crews painted signs designating special lanes for them. It's going to be big, big trouble. Taxi driver Castell St. John dreads the new rules. Now you have one less lane of traffic here. It's going to be like one now, one lane. The traffic is going to be backed up. These new maps show the impact. On roads near the orange line here, officials say capacity could be slashed in half. On interstates like 93, Route 1, and the Fellsway leading into Boston, down 20%. We'll also be making other changes, including signal adjustments and closing certain segments of streets to general traffic. State officials say people need to know those shuttle buses that will be in this lane have a different turning radius and a different blind spot than people are used to. And we have seen cars driving right over that paint that says bus only. The complications have already begun out here. In the Back Bay, Christina Hager, WBZ News.